nice. Jesus Christ. I've got more. T- I've got more taste than uh, that. You know? I feel like I'm at a fucking football game or a fucking baseball game. That fucking song. All right, let's get on to our next topic here. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton heckled by Black Lives Matter. I love Matter the segue, actors. Joe. I, know, I love the awesome. segue. I have yeah, to. Let's just stop doing all that shit, please. By the way, and check uh, that image out, man. Super predators, man. See, I got the little <sighs> predator coming in on the side. Can't see, see it, but it. it's pretty fucking funny. I don't know. <laughs> Topic number three tonight. <laughs> Clint heckled by Black Lives Matter activists. They pay $500 at this private event. Here we go. Bernie Sanders is fighting hard to erode Hillary Clinton's support among African-American voters. And he got a little help from Black Lives Matter. A protester, a member of that group, heckled Clinton at a private event in Charleston, South Carolina last night. South Carolina became the first state with body cameras. There's more work to be done, but you've got to lay down these markers. you got to build toward uh, common sense. So if we've got somebody saying here, we have we to bring them for mass to heal. Okay, we'll talk I'm about it. I'm not a super predator, Hillary Clinton. Okay, fine, we'll talk can about it. you apologize to black people for mass incarceration? Well, can I talk? And then maybe yes. you can listen to what I say. And about... Super predators. You're being rude. All right, that protester was talking about a speech that Hillary Clinton gave back in 1996 when she was the first lady. The speech coming two years after the passage of President Bill Clinton's crime bill, which has been criticized for sparking a surge in prison population and uh, disproportionately hurting black and Latino communities. Listen. Not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. Yes. So uh, I mean, I'm like, I mean, like with this this uh-huh. protester, I guess didn't realize that you know Clinton is a dem you know Democrat, and she just won South Carolina today, where majority of the blacks uh, in that. Uh, state supporter so i don't know man uh, yeah, it, it, i think it's just democrat doesn't really make it, it doesn't affect yeah, anything yeah i know i, I, I think I, well, what the democrat party used to be <laughs> yeah yeah true true I, I just think this is another ploy for the black lives matter you know just to yeah. be recognized but i mean you know even either that, oh, that quote right okay so she didn't call all black people she called mm-hmm. people who were part of these gangs they were supposed to be super predators with super predator theory has been debunked whatever but uh, that was what ninety six. So that was, was ninety six. Uh, he said ninety four, but it's ninety six <laughs> actually. You're right, Paul. Yeah. So it was twenty years ago. Okay. So she made a comment twenty years ago, and she came out and apologized for it yes, later did. on. So yep. boo. Now uh, mass incarceration. Well, yeah. <laughs> how about you kind of do a little bit of a introspective look at your spell? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, who commit more crimes you know, in the United uh, States? You know, I'm I'm not a supporter of Hillary Clinton. Excuse me, Hillary Clinton. But at the same time, and who the fuck does this chick think that she can fucking walk into somebody's speech like that? She paid five hundred like dollars. It's like those two <laughs> that walked up to Bernie Sanders in uh, what was it, Seattle? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, fuck. It, and when she talks about the mass incarceration, I mean, it's not like you know, it's a point to lock up you know a lot of you know black people as opposed to white or Hispanic or anything like that. I mean. If she looked at the numbers that we all look at all the time, I mean, they do it to themselves. Yeah, I mean, like, don't don't commit crimes, <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's yeah. look at the family, the family structure when it comes to the, mm-hmm. to the black demographic. It starts with the family. I mean, we can see you the know, structure it, save families. your five hundred fucking dollars and actually spend some time researching your so called movement and looking at the stats and looking at crime rates in in certain yeah. cities. Yeah, absolutely, Anthony. You're laughing too much, I don't, man. <laughs> I don't, American politics, dude, seriously, I, I'm beyond it. It's, it's, they're all fucking mental. It's just like you have to pick the, the best, worst one. And, it, and I agree. It's just I agree. crazy. But what about? I mean, but that's it's the same in England, really. So it's, fuck, I don't know, keep me out of politics, dude. It's all bullshit. But it's not bullshit. It's, fuck, you have to pick the best one. That you think out of a really bad bunch. 
Well, I, I think this is more so. about Black Lives Matter. What do you feel about that movement and how she, you know, went into yeah, this paid $500? Well, she like, handled you... it better than Bernie Sanders did. True. That's for damn sure. So, pff, shit, man. I mean, they're just people, aren't they? They're just people. They're, they're politicians that will evolve and change their tacts and their policies with whatever response they get from them. And they've got all these people around them that will be telling them, well, if you do this, you probably get a better response than if you do that. And that's how American politics works. It probably works the same in England as well. So that she'll, so she'll have a narrative that she wants to push and there'll be people around her that are telling her, well, it's probably not a good idea or it's a good idea. So the people around Bernie are probably black people, basically saying black, you know, black lives matter isn't a bad idea or, oh, he's got a ton of regressives around him or he's, well, he's just a regressive himself. Yeah. Yeah. But to me, I don't know, American politics, man, it's just, it's bad enough dealing with English politics and yeah, having to think about whether we're going to stay in the EU or not. You know, the, That's the that, fact. I mean, that, but that to me has more of a bearing on me. I don't want, you know, England means more to me than America because I'm you know, not the, American. So The funny thing is what she said 20 years ago actually still applies today. Which is? What, you know, talking about, you know, you, you have a, you know, a, a majority, you know, black population in prison systems, it still applies today because of the, you know, of the black crime stats. Well, well, true. When it comes right. down to when, when yeah. you know, what, what they try to do here is they're trying to say that there's some injustice out there when it comes to the black demographic that they are specifically being targeted for crimes. Well, yeah, because they commit more crimes, so we shouldn't put somebody well, in jail that stabs another yeah, person. Yeah, we, we, we know this, though. We know, we know all this. I mean, we're like three yeah, we steps ahead of the curve. Well, absolutely, but you know, that's what it boils down to. I mean, like they won't recognize their own problem within the race, and it's just ridiculous. I'm mean, like, we're not saying, you know, all black people, of course, hashtag not all, but you know, you got to. So, so which, so which, so which politician in America is like thinking straight about that one? Is the, it, it, I mean, is the one I'm not. I mean, I'm asking. I don't know if there is one. Look, is it that Rubio guy? Does he is he on point on that one or on what point? I, I don't understand. Like like police, you know, brutality or whatever you want to fucking call it. You know, well, why the why there's so many black people in prison? Why so many black people are getting in trouble with the law? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but what I gather is that the Republicans, the conservatives, are on the side of the police. You know, and the Democrats. Well, everybody should oh, yeah. be on the side of the police. Well, they should be on the side of the police, of course, but. Be. You know, th that's what it boils down to is, you know, we have these people coming in and say, well, like this chick here, uh, she has to realize that there's a, a high, a well, majority of black people that will support Clinton and also support, you know, any demographic uh, or any Democrat out there. You know, yeah, especially I, I'm, Sanders I'm asking and, in, a, in, a, in, in a fairly naive way because I have only lived in this country for five years and, okay. I, and I've never voted. You know, obviously, naturally, I would go for a, like a Democratic side because I'm liberal and all the rest of it. But I mean, I've spoken to Devin about this, like there's many policies that uh, a non-politician like Donald Trump will say, well, I'll build this wall and I'll do all, the, all this bullshit stuff, which is crap to me. He's never gonna do that. He'll, he'll never have the funding to do it. But I, the whole thing confuses me somewhat. It, you know, it's from, it's from, from, I'm almost a, I'm almost an outsider looking in, you know, on American politics because Oh, you know, well, I, I mean, like, well, let's look at this, Anthony. You live in the United States, mm -hmm. and local politics affect you. So why, why wouldn't well, you get involved? Well, of course they do, but I can't vote. <laughs> I'm not allowed to vote. That's the thing, right? So well, it's true, like I'm not going to be not interested in it because I am. But you could. You, you can. Well, really... I, well, I could be. I know I don't have a dog in the fight, but I still have an opinion, of course, because Maybe, well, everybody has an opinion. You do have a voice, so. Well, I have an opinion. Yeah, uh, what, what you're <laughs> saying is... You're seeing is pandering. It's it's they pander to uh, what are demographics going to get them elected a lot of the time. So that, that mean um, back back when she said that originally in the '90s, it was um you know there's a, a certain events going on. They, that's why they instituted it and that's why they wanted to go for it and all that. Um, when she was talking, to, she was talking specifically it's like about this uh, like um, gang crime, you know the, the the high gang crime that was happening in the in the '90s. Uh, so it, she's not talking about just uh, the black demographic in general. As if, you know, all blacks are part of these gangs and everything. She's talking about the, you know, the, the gang de demographic back then, the ones who were specifically doing the the really fucking bad ones, like you know, homicides, uh, armed robbery, all that shit. Right? She's talking about that. Yeah, and, exactly. Um, <laughs> You're 100 right, Paul. It's exactly what she was talking. And, I mean, about. she wasn't. 
it's, that's the thing. She's not talking about every single fucking person. And exactly. neither are the people who are talking about it nowadays. They're talking about the people who still fucking commit crimes, obviously. The ones who, who think doing armed robbery is cool, who do, think doing fucking murder is okay, who think doing fucking, you know, carjacking is just perfectly fine, all this shit, right? The people who actually fucking commit the crimes is the one that's what we're going after, obviously. No, you're 100% right, Paul. And it's these types of people, like this chick here, Black Lives Matters, uh, in, including Black Lives Matter. You know, these are the people that just don't give a shit. They have this collectivist uh, ideology where they say all cops are inherently evil. I'm like, that's what they're looking at. And it's only targeted against white cops against black perpetrators. I'm like, that's that's a problem with me. When it only makes up about, I think it's 4%. Of all um, police shootings, I think it only involves 4% when it comes to the black demographic. Now, that doesn't tell you if it was a black or a white or whatever the race of the officer was. When it comes to blacks being shot by cops, I think it's 4%. I think it is. I'll tell you what you don't get in England, right? You don't, you don't ever hear about those stats because those stats are entirely irrelevant. How many, cop, how many people were shot? They or, ignore stats, of course, yeah. Yeah, well, you don't, well obviously you don't hear about it in England because the cops don't have guns general. Some of them do, but generally cops on the street don't have a gun. So you'll never hear about gun deaths by police, by race or anything like that. But you will see arrest rates by race, and, and the demographics still fall into place. Even though, Ameri even though England is even more white than America, or it used to be anyway. Yeah. I think it still is. Just like I Not said, you know, she be. should have saved her 500 bucks and done a little bit more research. <laughs> That or just put it in her pocket, and then maybe, uh, maybe it does. It, it, it still goes back to 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 this fascination with the American public and race, and the news organizations and media in general seems I mean, to be fascinated with race in this country, and everything always goes back to the color of your skin, which to me it's is amazing. Yeah, it's fucking sick, ridiculous. Yeah, they they feel is. the fire totally for it. Yeah, it's stupid, yeah. dude. It, to it totally mental. is, and that's why well, we sit here and call this bullshit out. You know. Yeah. I, I, well, just, I will. I'll call it all day fucking long. I, you know, I just love this political stance with this chick here. You know what I mean? Especially with and like with the Bernie Sanders shit. It's just like if you want to really make a difference in your community, target the crimes, the violent crimes. Target that shit, man. Now, I would support Black Lives Matter if they were marching down the street, say in Chicago. Of course, we know Chicago with the crime rates over there. You know where it's massively. You know, it's it's overwhelmingly. Black, uh, black on black crime, black on white crime, violent crime. March down the inner cities of fucking uh, Chicago and and hold up your signs, Black Lives Matter, and, and and really fight against the gangs, fight against them killing other other individuals. You know, it doesn't matter what the race is. Fight that. Do that. I, I, that's something I would get behind, of course, but you won't see that happen in anytime soon. Yeah, I, I don't think. I think yeah, I think that's the biggest the biggest problem I have with it is it it's it's always about whenever uh something happens uh, regarding police but they never ever talk about uh what's happening within the community, what's happening within yeah, like god, it's just like what the fuck. Or the you're family, gonna, you're Paul, going even to the you're going to rail against uh the supposedly racist uh cops who are just there to kill any black person they want to because you know, fucking reasons because they're black, just because they're black. That's it, apparently. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go against that, but we're gonna uh, dismiss and just ignore what's going on in our own fucking community, pushing a bullshit narrative. Yeah, what it boils down to also is we have to look at where this, where this shit starts, and it's it's in the family. I've been really trying to yeah. promote this talking point, and it starts in the family. You know, I. I I grew up and raised in a very loving household. My mom and dad are still married. And you know what? My dad would kick my ass if I did anything wrong. If I hung around the wrong type of kids, my dad said, that kid is not good for you. I could just tell by his attitude and what he's doing, and I talk to his parents. You know, that is that is real parenting when it, when, when it comes to this issue. You know, and I, Can I, I just say, say you know something that's, else, though? That's not the, uh, that's not the way the I... ass thing, kind of, but not... Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no okay. There is something else, though, right? I don't give a shit. Right, it's not an excuse. It's not a fucking excuse. Just because well, you no, 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 I'm not using that as an well, excuse. No, 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 no. no but you'll hear that. You will hear that. Well, my family oh, was yeah, shit. Okay, yeah. I didn't have a dad. I didn't have a mom. Whatever. It's right, a well, scapegoat. Well, that's fair enough. Right. It's a scapegoat. That's not. Yeah, it's not a reason. Exactly. And when when they you know when they're in front of the judge, they don't say, "Oh well, officer," or "Oh well, judge." 
you know, I commit this crime and I killed this guy or I stabbed this guy or I, I broke into this house because I didn't have a father figure when I grew up or or right. that or that no, I live in, or, at, yeah, or exactly. that I live in poverty. You don't hear these as excuses, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, we're looking at No, we're not it's not yeah, but, uh, I we're not it's talking them. It's not an excuse. No, we're not talking them as in terms of excuses though. We're not talking them in the terms of excuses. We're saying these are things that can lead people to do this. Not that it excuses it, Correct. but this is yeah. some of the factors that lead to it. Now, uh, I grew up, unlike Joe, I grew up um, in some interesting environments. Uh, so you Certainly. would think that I would commit a lot of crimes because of it, but obviously I don't. It's, it's still a choice. It's a fucking moral choice. It's just you're do more you, prone to do it if you, you come sure up you from these environments. Are you sure you don't commit any crimes? Was that Anthony? Um, yeah, sure you, you, could, you could still you could still use the argument of in, you know taking the individual case because you know like Paul I grew up without a father as well and I I'm not you know killing anybody I'm exactly. not committing any crimes yeah you know? it's, I mean yeah. It, it is it is one of thing to talk about it's, it's, I don't commit I don't commit crimes against other people fuck you Anthony yeah it is definitely case by case there's no <laughs> doubt I totally agree with that there's no doubt but what I was trying to say here and I clarify is like which you guys probably understood but some people might have not understood what I was trying to get at is I'm not saying that these are reasons that they're going to give to a judge. You know what I mean? But these are reasons that people like Black Lives Matter will state. And a lot of regressive leftists out there will state. You know what I mean? Let's talk about poverty. Let's talk about right, this. Let's it. talk yeah. about socioeconomics. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. No, it starts with the family and, of course, these areas. And if Black Lives Matter want to do something, start protesting in the inner cities where crime really happens. So...